everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Megan I do sewing embroidery and other crafty things and in today's tutorial I will be showing you an Embroilings Essentials how to separate a pre-made design that you might have purchased from Etsy or some other sort of website so as you can see I have this hello kindergarten design pulled up um, however my customer requested that I remove the hello and just keep kindergarten so as you can see, my design is too big for my six by 10 hoop. However, once I get rid of the hello, I should have plenty of room to embroider on my embroidery space. So let's get started. So as you can see from the drop down here, it includes the steps for what it's gonna be working on. And from this screen, as you can see, the hello and the garden are one step together. So from this screen, there's no possible way that we can separate this design. However, if you go up to the top here and hit, this is the stitch simulator icon. Um, I have the very basic Brit and Brilliance Essentials. Um, I believe it's like uh, level one that I have. So you can just click that. And if you scroll through here, you can see this is essentially what a stitch simulator is. It'll show you how it will stitch out each individual step. Um, so it's going through the kinder and then over here it's going to start to work on the hello and then the garden portion. So as you can see it's the last step. Now like I said we are going to want to get rid of the hello. So we're going to want to separate the hello from the garden. Now what I'm trying to do now is get as close as I can to it finishing the hello portion. So what you can do is you can use these arrows over here to the side of the stop button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep, keep clicking this arrow until I get to the last stitch on the hello, which is this part, because as you can see, it will move forward and backwards one stitch. If you move forward one other stitch, you can see it's gonna start working on the garden part. So let me go back. So this is essentially the last stitch. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the stop button. Uh, we'll keep it for black and just hit okay. Now, if you go to the side, the hello is one part and the garden is another part. So you can do this to replicate a design. So let's say if you want to um, add another let's say color or a word or something in design, all you can just do is copy and paste that step. Or in my case, what I'm gonna do is delete this hello. So you just hit delete. Get out of the stitch simulator. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center my design. And that is essentially how you edit or remove different parts of already preset embroidery design. Now let's say if I wanted to delete the K and Kinder, as you can see, it is one step itself. So you don't have to do this, but for the Hello Kindergarten or the Hello Garden part, it was all one step. So we had to separate that design um, and then it separated into two separate parts and then we were able to delete the Hello portion. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I'm planning on uploading more tutorials on how to use Embrilliance Essentials, super quick, easy tutorials. So if you guys are ever stitching out a design and you don't know how to do something, definitely continue to check out my channel. And like I said in the beginning, I do sewing, embroidery, and other crafty things. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate this tutorial. And also leave a comment down below on if there's any other tutorials you would like to see from me. So thanks for joining me today and I'll hope to see you in the next video. Bye!